Good morning, Marcella. Good morning. We'll get started here in a few minutes. We're going to continue today working in the Word document that we worked in last week. Uh, Want to do one more thing to our paragraphs, and uh, we'll get into it here uh, momentarily. As we get uh, wait for a few more folks to enter into the class. Are your how are your classes going, Marcella? Here as we finish uh, the semester. Sorry, but I can hear you. Uh, you're having a hard time. Can you hear me now? Is it any better? Good morning, uh, Jamilka. Let me know if you can hear me, guys, if the audio is coming through OK. Yes. OK. I can hear you now. OK, great. Yeah, I was just asking how you guys were doing with your studies as we're getting as we're finishing the semester here. Hopefully everything is. Moving along fine. Good morning, uh, Danielle, Deanira. Good morning, Ben. All right, guys, I'm going to get right into it today because uh, I want to I want to spend one more day on the paragraph that we worked on last week, our last class specifically, and I want to work in the same word document. Uh, this morning I went through and uh, I left some comments and I still there are about a few of you that I still need to finish leaving comments. So today I want to do two things. What I'd like to do is to continue working in the Word document that we worked in last class. And the first thing I want to do is I want you to include citations and references to support the evidence sentences like many of you have links to uh, maybe in your wiki from pages that you use to get information right so i ask everyone to try to find information online either through the video or through uh, some web page and so what i'd like to do today is to have you include your citations according to apa and your references remember in your writing class uh, you're asked to use APA to support the evidence, your examples, right, and your paragraphs. This is the same idea, and so I would like for you to follow APA both in your citations within your paragraphs and at the end of the document. And let me go ahead and share my screen. If you go into the Word document and you scroll down to the very bottom, You'll notice there's a heading called references. And so below references, we're going to use the same font, Calibri 11. And we're going to use, uh, yeah, the same font to include here our references below this section. So this is where you'll include the references. You'll include the citations within your paragraphs. Now, you may notice that the organization is slightly different. So Prope B, what they did was they took your uh, how you started the document and they continued to add to it and rearrange it how they how they thought made the most sense. So you'll notice that we have level two, we have like headings here, healthcare, and then within healthcare, several paragraphs, right? Um, and so make sure that you may have to look around if you notice that maybe your paragraph is not exactly located where where it was uh, last Friday. Um, but once you find your paragraph, 
the first thing we're going to do is to include the citations. I would begin first including the citations. Now you'll notice that many of you have some comments and I haven't finished yet. I'm going to try to finish right now uh, for those of you that I have not left comments. Um, and so when you finish including the citations and the references, I'd like for you to take a look at my feedback and make changes to your paragraph for completing the final version. Today in class, you can, if you have questions about APA, if you have questions about citing, how to list out references, if you have questions about um, the feedback, right? Today in class, we can also address those questions. All right, the last thing I'll mention here, and I think I'm going to share this in Microsoft Teams. I have a, a presentation, and I'm actually going to go into a different team here because we use this quite a bit. Uh, let me see. Where did I put that? Let me pull this up. I have a presentation on, um, on APA. And I don't know if I shared this with you guys, but I'll share it with you now. And this might be helpful for looking at examples for, for APA. So I'm going to go in here and sway. And let's see. I'm going to share this. I'll share this in two locations. I'll share this here in the document, in the Word document at the very top. And according to APA, I'm going to create a hypertext here where it says APA. And I'm going to insert a link. So if you click on this, control click, you might have to hit the control button first. This will take you to this publicate this uh, presentation. Now from here, there's a lot of information here, but I think one of the most important uh, sections is are the examples. And so here you can find examples for different websites, if they're journals, articles, okay? And I know some of you are using YouTube, and so, I don't think I have an example of a YouTube citation, so let's see if we can find one real quick. APA YouTube citation reference. See if we can get lucky here and find one real quick. Yeah, so I would uh, I would do this basic format for video reference. <clears throat> I just did a quick search. It's called how to cite a video on YouTube <clears throat> in APA. <clears throat> so here, um, and there's probably other websites, but this is the going to be the reference here. This is what it should look like, and the in text citation. Now the in text citation will be the name as it appears. Uh, it'll be the username, right, of of the video channel, right? It'll be the the name of the channel. In some cases, it'll be the same name as the person. In other cases, it may not be. Okay, this is what this is uh, here. I think what they're showing here. But you can look at this example, this website for examples on how to include both the reference and the citation. But if you have questions, just jump in. And uh, we'll we can look at it. All right. Anybody have any questions about what we're uh, doing today? I have a question. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, if we have the link of the video, but also we have the another links of different pages, we can use them to to add it that to make the citation. Uh, yes, uh, Daniela, you can use. You know, anything like look at your sentences in your paragraphs. All right. So each sentence in your paragraph should be one of two types. It either should be your original idea or it, it, it's going to be an idea that comes from an outside source, whether it's a video website or whatever. If your okay. sentence, if your sentence is coming from an outside source, doesn't matter if it's a video or website, then you're going to need a citation 
for for that um, for that sentence for that particular sentence. So this is really important to mention: is that don't include in one sentence both your original idea and someone else's outside uh, uh, someone else's idea. Don't mix in one sentence those two types. Every sentence should be completely all your idea or completely all someone else's idea, right? And then you decide, you know, if it's coming from an outside source, then you, you include the citation and the reference according to APA, and it could be a video, could be a website. So certainly, if you have more than one sentence, you have two or three sentences that are all coming from an outside source, then that's fine. Just make sure that you include the appropriate citation that links to that source. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, if there are no more questions, go ahead and begin first with your citations. Don't worry about changing the, the paragraphs based on my comments yet. First, include the references and the citations, and then once you've completed that, begin with the questions and the comments. If you don't have any comments, give me just a few minutes here as I finish leaving comments for those that I have yet to uh, see, and, um, and then you can begin making final changes to your, your paragraph. Ben, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, what does it mean MW in the comments? MW, missing word. There's a uh, word missing between uh, the two words that uh, was selected. Okay, and WC? Word choice. So word choice means I the meaning, like I understand what you're trying to say, but you need try to find a different word to say the same thing. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, guys, just a couple of things uh, to remember. Try to avoid the word people. So if we try to avoid the word people, then this is going to force us to be more specific. It's going to allow us to write more specifically to or about a specific story or person, right? So try to think specifically who the people are so that you can, instead of use the word people, you can... Uh, replace it with something more specific. Um, also, if you're recalling a news story, it's not required to cite the story unless there are some uh, data like statistics that you're including. So if you're going to use statistics, then you do need a citation. But if you're just generally recalling a story and you're using your own words, very important, you're using your own words, then you don't need a citation. If you're just recalling a story that happened in the news, then read the story, become familiar with the story, then put it down for about 30 minutes, then come back and try to recall as much as you can uh, for, for memory. But again, if you're using statistics, then we're going to need a, a citation and a reference. All right, So try to keep that in mind, guys, when, when you're recalling a story. Be careful with the word people. Also, be, be careful with any personal pronoun. Any personal pronoun. Specifically, it, the personal pronoun it, and the personal pronoun they, a lot of times we need to, instead of using the pronoun, tell us what the antecedent is. Either paraphrase what you mentioned before you, or use a synonym.
All right, guys, we're getting uh, we're getting towards the end of uh, today's class. Are there any questions about any of the uh, feedback or the today's task, including citations and references to support the evidence sentences uh, for your paragraphs? Any questions? Guys, if um, you know, as you guys finish your your paragraphs, make sure that you remove also the comments. Okay, so when we finish and finalize our final our uh, final draft for a paragraph, we should not have any remaining uh, comments on the right hand side of the the screen. We should have our citations and references according to APA. Again. The APA, the citations and references are going to be just like what you do in your academic um, academic writing or your classes, your writing class, I should say, in Prope. And uh, you're going to have a citation with uh, with parentheses right after within the sentence where you included uh, the idea that came from an outside source. OK, so make sure you have citations within your text and you have references at the end of the document, I added a section at the bottom of the document so you can add your references there. And uh, this is what we want to complete for today to include the citations and the references for your paragraphs. OK, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me via chat in Microsoft Teams. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow. See you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. So much.